Edmonton housing market is hot, but how hot is it really? Edmonton housing market is a way different housing market than the rest of Canada. This is my 2022 housing market prediction for Edmonton. And in this video, I'm gonna explore four things that are driving the current market. And I'm gonna talk about how those things will affect the Edmonton market in 2022. I'm Jen McFillin with Remax River City. And in this video, I'm answering these questions. Is everything selling above list? Is the condo market finally going to improve this year? What factors are creating the current market conditions? Is there anything I should be worried about? Is there? Let's take a look at single family homes for 2022 so far. So in Edmonton, single family homes are selling for an average of 99% of list price. If you're in the market in 2019, it's probably feeling more like 95% of list price. If we just look at what they're selling for last year, only 97% of lists. 2% is huge. Now remember, this is an average. So there are a lot of properties still selling above list, but not all properties. In Edmonton, so far this year, 22% of homes have sold above list price. The amount above list price on average is 14,000. Whereas in 2021, in the same period, only 10% of homes are selling above list price. And the average above list was only 9,000. Trend alert. So though you may not have to pay above list price for every home that's for sale in the market, basically anything good is selling for list price or better. And by move-in ready, I mean things with not a lot of wear and tear, very clean, less things for the buyer to do once they take possession of the home. Moving on to question number two. I kind of answered this before. Will the condo market improve in 2022? The short answer is yes, but not maybe as much as a condo seller would hope. So going back to 2019, the new listings to sold ratio in January was 28%. When we compare it to this January, that is up quite a bit to 38%. Yeah, I know these aren't huge numbers, but it is an improvement. So the average sale price for condos in 2021 was $216,550. Now that's already up in 2022. So far this year, the average is $224,566. Question number three, what factors are creating the current market conditions? Is there anything you should be worried about? So very simply, supply and demand is a major factor for affecting the current market conditions. So demand is higher for a couple reasons. One, millennials are entering the market. Two, baby boomers and Gen Xers aren't downsizing as much as expected. Alberta has a considerable amount of migration from BC and Ontario, as people are being priced out of the market there. Edmonton housing affordability is high. And number five, one of the biggest reasons that I see is that there's a limited inventory for new builds. So the one thing I think buyers should be a little bit worried about in Edmonton will only affect the short-term buyer, not really the long-term buyer that's looking to own their home for 10 plus years, but it's a retraction in the pricing. The Edmonton housing market is very elastic. That means we have the ability to add more inventory and not just rely on resale homes. Right now, our new inventory is limited due to supply chain issues and cost of labor and cost of materials. Not to mention lot availability, the developers are a little bit behind on that too. When new home builds are lacking inventory, you're gonna see a drastic increase in resale homes because when new builds are lacking in inventory, they also go up in price, making the resale market look much more desirable. Plus, those people that need a home right now, are gonna have to wait probably too long. Let me give you an example of why I'm a little bit worried about the retraction. We're gonna go back to 2015, 2016 market. And let's take the community of Rutherford, for example. It's in the Southwest and most of the homes built there were like 2005 to 2007 range. And this is also a community that's near the new development areas where they'll be competing with a lot of new build homes. In 2015, 2016, the average selling price for like a 2,000 to 2,500 square foot front attached garage home was about 525,000. At the time, there wasn't a lot of builder inventory around that price range for the same thing. So the inventory that was there was either priced higher or 
there was just no availability. Now moving into 2019, 2020 season, when the home builders have caught up and they have a bunch of inventory, they're slashing prices, this really affected that community in particular. That same home type was selling on average for 485,000 during that time. This simply because people could get the same kind of home brand new for either the same price because the builders would drop their prices so much or a tiny bit more. And if it's just a little bit more, why wouldn't you want a new home versus a used one in relatively the same area? So finally, here we are. My prediction for 2022 Edmonton housing market. What will happen in the Edmonton housing market in 2020? Well, no one has a crystal ball. So I'm gonna take my best guess based on the information I know today, and what I think is going to be happening in the future. That's prediction. I mean, who would have expected the housing market to soar during the pandemic? We never had a pandemic before, so no one really knew what was gonna happen. I don't know if there's another pandemic that would create the same situation, but hopefully we'll never find out. Here we go. It's gonna be a seller's market. It's gonna be a seller's market for almost all single family detached homes in 2022. Condos will still be a buyer's market. There'll be some condo types that will feel the effects of the single family home seller's market, like, like duplexes that are condominiumized or townhouses, but apartment style condos are still gonna be a buyer's market. And should the price of single family homes go up so much that the affordability of them is just unreachable for first time home buyers, we will see even more improvement in the apartment style condo market. What does this mean for sellers? If you are thinking of selling, now is the time to get your house on the market. And it's still important to make sure that it's a well-maintained, clean, well-presented home so you can get the maximum amount of money for that home. As for buyers, what does this mean for you? This is a pretty big step change from what we're used to in Edmonton, where buyers were more in the driver's seat than the sellers. So buyers, what you need to be ready for. You need to be ready to buy. So you need to be pre-approved. And by pre-approved, I mean you need to have all your documents in to your mortgage broker or mortgage specialist. The only thing that they need to be waiting for is that signed purchase contract for a home that you just wanted multiples or you're able to snag for 99% of list price. There's literally no point in looking for a home unless you're financially ready this year. You will not get it. You simply won't. Unfortunately, as the market continues to get more and more competitive, buyers may have to consider dropping some of their due diligence like property inspection or financing condition. You really are gonna to want to explore the risks that brings to you as a buyer because it's really not that ideal to drop those. But to get a home, you might have to. As a buyer, you're going to have to prepare for how much above list price you're willing to pay. Gone are the times where you're going to be looking 10 or 20,000 above the maximum price that you can afford because you're hoping to get a deal. Remember I said, right now the average is 99% of list price is the average what people are selling their homes for. All the good ones, probably the ones that you want are selling at list or better. So be prepared for that. Another important point for buyers is that not all sellers are looking for the best price. For sellers, the contract is looked as a whole. So your due diligence, the contingencies in the contract, the deposit, the possession, the goods included, all of that stuff matters for the seller, or at least some sellers. It's really important to work with a realtor to be able to help you navigate through this tricky time of buying a home. As a buyer seller, it's really important to keep your finger on the pulse for the market. Things are changing literally weekly. Weekly, it's crazy. So if you wanna kinda of know what's happening in the market, Every Wednesday on my Instagram page, my dog and I partner up and we are giving you a Mila Market update for Edmonton. And I'm gonna tell you about what kind of inventory we have, what's selling, what's pending, what's going above list price. It's a really great way to kind of get a feel for what's happening in the market. If you're thinking of selling and wanna know how much your home will go for in the current market conditions, go ahead and reach out to me. I'd be happy to provide you with a market evaluation there is a link to a form in the description below, or you can message me directly. And all you buyers that are ready to go, you're pre-approved and you just can't find the house and you need a realtor to help you, message me. I am here to help you. I'm able to think outside the box to help you secure that home in this crazy market. You need that right now. Anyway, 2022 is gonna be wild. So buckle up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.